The Tel Aviv Gay Pride Parade is a world-renowned extravaganza, but colorful as it may be, it does little to further the rights of the LGBT community who cannot marry, adopt, be a parent, or live in safety. Basic rights denied by Israel's increasingly conservative government. When another law affecting the LGBT community was brought to vote on July 18th, we suspected it would not pass. Netanyahu, it's be a neged. Benjamin Netanyahu, neged. Yoel Hassan, I'm going to ask. So we told our client they needed to get ready to fight. BBR and the Aguda, Israel's LGBT task force, present Hashtag Proud Strikers, the first strike about social rights. A one-day nationwide strike urging the LGBT community to stay away from work and show the entire country that this law affects people from all walks of life. Doctors, lawyers, pilots, high-tech workers, and many more productive people employed everywhere. The truth is, we weren't sure how companies would respond. But within hours of the announcement, leading companies and people all over the country joined our struggle. International companies like IBM and Apple made public global announcements. Others freed their staff and promised not to charge them for the day off, while some went an extra mile and promised to fund surrogacy procedures which cost more than half a million shekels. Surprisingly, FMCG companies, usually scared of religious boycotts, joined our cause too, as did hospitals, worker unions, celebrities and politicians, government ministries, the Israel Airports Authority, and even police officers who are traditionally banned from striking. Talk show hosts canceled their shows, and news and entertainment websites blackened their screens. Last but not least, people all around social networks changed their profile pics to mark their support. And while over one million people were exposed to the rally event on Facebook, 100,000 took to the streets. And the greatest achievement of all is that although the Israeli parliament is now in recess, we succeeded in making them call an emergency meeting to re-examine the law. But this is just the beginning. We won't stop until the LGBT community gets equal rights.